What's up, y'all? We're back. We got part three of the four-part AT subunit video series. I don't know why I framed it like that. Um, but yeah, so we got Youth, a song that's incredibly meaningful. Um, you can hear the emotion in it. I love the production. I love everything about the song. I'm really interested to see how they present the music video because if this were like a one-off Western single type thing, I could see it being like telling the story of like other actors and you know like cutting it in and type stuff but this is about them about you know and mingi so i'm really interested to see how they portray some stuff a lot of artistic potential that i know they're going to cap uh, capitalize on um otherwise don't really have anything else okay okay <laughs> let's get into it all right let's get to it I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> doing a replay for the KQ logo now. I never realized they had Zykers on here. Block? Oh, probably Block B, I think. It's funny. I literally never realized that. God, I love this song so much. Okay, sorry, a lot of visuals that I'm appreciating. I, 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 I like this song too much to stop it, and I feel like disrespectful almost stopping them from talking their shit. Alright, let's start over. I appreciate the immediate vibe established. Of them frolicking. I like this first shot with Mingi too. <laughs> Sorry. I stay away from Swirl as much as possible. Someone uh, on Twitter... I brought that up because... I Someone on Twitter uh, made the connection somehow that these scars on his face are almost exactly the same as the ones he had in Fever. I don't, I would have to think so much about what that means, but it's interesting that they use the same type of makeup, like to represent the same, you know. But Fever is a, okay, sorry, I'll, I'll think about it later. Like he's in therapy, interesting mask. I don't know why I didn't think about it. For some reason, I didn't expect there to be choreography for this song. Not that I didn't expect, like, I didn't think there was going to be no choreography. I just didn't think about it. Like with It's You, first thing I thought of, choreography. I didn't think about it for this, but I like it, it's smooth. Also, I noticed, oh, I'm sorry, I'll keep going. Okay, 
것들을 즐기셨나요 아픔보다 행복이 더 컸나요 참조차도 자기 힘든데 yeah. 현실의 꿈을 실현하기에 yeah, yeah. 난 너무 어려워 지금은 어려워 Say no 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 왜 이렇게 힘든 걸까요 왜 그렇게 잘못하는 I'm gonna listen to the whole verse again. This is, I knew what the lyrics were because I've read them, but I've never read them while listening to the song, if that makes sense. I'm not sure why. I just read it the first time, took it all in, and was thinking about like the greater meaning. But this, this Mingy verse is unbelievably good. Uh, this is, <laughs> I've heard this song so many times, but I, so this isn't like a music thing. But goddamn. <sighs> I'm sorry, this is by far the longest of the unit videos so far. Um, not too late. Notoriously, for me, was like the first song that's ever made me cry while listening to it um and it was really weird for me when i was editing that fever part three video to watch myself do that um and i bring that up because i felt a very deep sensation emotional burst within me reading the lyrics finally like listening to his, the emotion in his voice it is good anyway um god damn he's so fucking cool man uh, these masks are trippy uh, I had something to say and then I thought about it, so I'm not going to say it. As in, I forgot. Mm -hmm. I love this shot so much. I look like an expensive guitar. All right, you know, I'm very sorry for that. Uh, I gotta stop letting clips play so long when I know I'm going back. Okay. The, very obviously, the two, like this Mingi and the, the, the dark, the all black uh, clothed Mingi and you know, are the different aged. And I'm being uh, vague here because truthfully, I cannot distinguish. Uh, personally, which one is which? Like, the frolicking, running around in the field, it, it's, it's, the implication is that, at least to me, like, visually, like, they're younger, they look more childlike, they're more free, but the whole point of the song is that when you were, like, looking back, the childhood, child, like, your youth, the adolescence, it wasn't that carefree thing, it was a lot of suffering, it was trying to and like the whole point of the song is reconciling with that fact and trying to think about what it meant what like in retrospect what that experience meant was it worth it he like li mingy literally says was it worth it so i'm trying <laughs> like they're the very it's very uh clear in the dichotomy like this is this set of yungi is one age this is the other, but like this is like the rebellious, like fighting one with the scar with uh, the scars and stuff. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to it one more time. I have to. I have to come to my senses a bit. See, because he puts the headphones on and looks out to the dreamlike, kind of, you know, frolicking life, youth world. Maybe it's like, this is... No, keep going, keep going. No time for horrible media analysis. Okay, so they break the mirror. Um, so I, I'm not trying to do like theory analysis. I, this is in action, like they're telling a story with themselves as care like actors within it it's really poignant i love it i just want to make sure i'm and analyzing this correctly they're wearing these suits to me uh the suit scenes for both of them like they're not ill-fitting but they're not like tailored suits they look like like jack is wearing a blazer off the rack or whatever um and it's kind of like this a young person's assumption of what an adult is supposed to be, that they're kind of coming to that realization or like succumbing to the pressures. Like you're expected to be like this, breaking through it literally with the mirror. And then they start like, it's like an expression when they're dancing. I'm comfortable with that being my read on the situation. This is a very interesting outfit. <laughs> now, <laughs> we'll finally get to the second half of the song. I still get a body rolling. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, I said it again, second half of the song, sorry, my bad. Um, these scenes, I mean, obviously, like, the leather jacket, the all black, like, it's in the moment type rebellious, like, uh, stereotypical rebellious outfits. He's, Mingi's lit actively fighting people back, you know, he's here beating up, a <laughs> brooding guitars, beating up an old fucking junker, like, so, like, when I'm talking about the dream like whatever yungi uh, representing one set i think it's it's not so much like this is me at this age and th this is me at this age it's more like the reality of what they were going through and how they're feeling and the whole like them frolicking in fields in a log house or whatever is kind of what they were expecting or hoping for so that's why when Miggy put the earphones in, he looks and like the that world comes into frame. It's it's more it's it's a representation of what they were hoping from their childhood, and this is like the reality of like constantly fighting back, uh, fighting against like you. Uh, Mingi's fighting against other people. He's scratched up. You know, is by himself, but he's still fighting. Uh, uh, this is definitely something that's very clear <laughs> for people that process things better than I do, but. I, it takes me a while, I'm sorry. Alright, let's get to the blood, like second half of the song. Okay, 
I'm gonna listen to the last chorus again. I'll let it play through. I'll start at Yuno's verse. So sitting, watching this safe space be burned. It's very interesting. All right, uh, before I get into I, I that this, this last chorus is so unbelievable. God, that, this song is incredible. Oh, I didn't even catch this last time. Yeah, for sure. I love the shadow imagery. Um, yeah, this is this. It, it's not my initial assumption was wrong. Surprise. At least, not, I think it is. Um, yeah, the two sets of Yungi wasn't, like, age to age. This is their reality, and they're constantly seeking that escape. And then the song, like, they burn down the the log house at the end. It's less about, like, it's not that the hope is gone of the escape. It's more so coming to, to like, accepting your past and thinking, like, processing the effect it has on you and moving forward together in this case. But just, like, as people. You're no longer trying to seek the escape. You understand yourself a little better. You could move forward as, like, a whole person and not someone that's, like, trying to split their realities up so they could hide the pain away, you know? You take all of it. But this Mingi, unfortunately, had to go through a lot. And that Yuno had to go through a lot. This choreo of them together, unbelievable. I don't know if it's just because I am I'm not I'm not on camera as much as I was during my initial eighties run, the deep dive. The I this is the closest I've been to crying since not too late. I this song is incredibly moving, but I don't just it's just so meaningful, like knowing their history, their relationship, how deep it goes. Mingi struggles knowing that they're writing this. <laughs> I don't know. That last shot. That's the last shot. It's a real, real nice shot. Um, I don't have much to say after because I talked so goddamn much during the actual video. Um, so, <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, tell me your interpretations of the video. Tell me if you even have any or if it's so straightforward that me spending 20 minutes intercutting this one 30 minute and 50 second song was a clue pointless to tell you that too. Uh, but yeah, so I teased something in the last video and I said I hate teasing things and then I rewatched it and I was like, you did exactly the stupid thing you said. And I don't have full confirmation of this. Why would I say that? That's so stupid. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you're here for the video, if you're staying here, don't care. Bye. Thank you. Love you so much. Um, I'm going to make a more official video about this, but I've decided I want to watch a lot of stuff that would not be postable on YouTube. Like Kingdom, like other future um, survival shows, even though those strain my heart 
But I want, like, I want to do stuff like that. Long form, you know, watching shit. Uh, and I talked about how potential variety non-music content was a little tough for me. Just mentally to get around watching or whatever in this, like, context. Um, but stuff like Kingdom Wars performances and just, like, intrigue and drama and, like, active, like, reactions and stuff. Uh, I just mean, like, literally not just uh, the video portion. Um, so, yeah, I want to do stuff like that. I am going to create an account on a website <laughs> called Patreon. Um, very obviously, not charging anything. I will never do that. P don't, like, that's why I was a little hesitant to talk about it. If this is not paid content at all, I would not, <laughs> not doing that. It's just, it's the only way, surefire way I know to protect from like getting a copyright strike or something. And it's a bunch of people have like Patreon and if you don't, I think it's just like an email address to sign up. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start, I have not recorded anything. That's why I was waiting. But I actually, I'm going to record multiple episodes of the first three Kingdom episodes tomorrow. Um, again, I'll, when this is a more fully realized concept, I will post about it. If anything to sit in front of a camera and talk with nothing going on. Um, but yeah, so that that was the whole thing. Um, so I the surprise, the, the tease that I was doing. Uh, yeah, Stroke Humane, free, emphasis, free, unpaid, not charging, Patreon. It's coming soon, just so we can do some more stuff. Oh, I'll, also... I bring it up now before I start getting into some stuff. Let me know long form performance type shows that you guys enjoy and would like to watch or that you've been meaning to watch and would be cool to watch with me. Uh, yeah, leave those wrecks. Uh, I've been talking for very long. This is a 20 minute video. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much. I'll be back real soon. Peace.